Once you get a list of all your general ledger activity from Microsoft Dynamics GP into Excel, here are some cool things that you can do with it. So here I have a sample general ledger transaction list. I'm going to convert that into a pivot table because pivot tables are the best way to summarize a large amount of data and to focus on the information that you really need at that time. So to do that, I go to the insert tab at the top left of my screen. I select pivot table and OK. And you'll see now I've got a blank pivot table on my screen. I'm clicked inside that pivot table, which is why I'm seeing up the top here, pivot table tools, analyze and design tabs. And then also on the far right, I have a pivot table field list. If I click outside of that pivot table, those will disappear. So make sure you clicked inside that. If you want to add data, you have tick boxes here and you can also click and drag these fields into the various areas of your pivot table. Uh, I'm going to just use as an example my account description. I'm going to drag that to the rows and all of the unique fields from that column in my original database have been added down those rows. I'm then going to pick up my TRX date. I'm going to drop that into my columns field and you'll see the dates are running across the top. It's not ideal, the format that, that is in yet, but we'll fix that up in a moment. And then I'm going to grab the credit amount and I'm going to put that into the values field. And you'll notice all of those credit amounts have been added to those columns as well. So we're going to simplify this and make this a little bit easier to read. First of all, with the dates, you'll notice if I click on a date there, we've got all of the unique dates running across the top. We might actually want to see only the months and the years. So we can easily do that by grouping these fields. We go to the Analyze tab at the top here, and we select this, this button here, Group Field. We choose what we want it to be grouped by. So I'm going to select months and years, so you can have more than one. And you'll notice now those dates are not only grouped by year, but also by month. Now, if I only want to see the years, what I can do now is I can go up to the minus sign or the collapse field button, once again on the analyze tab. I can select that, and now those columns are all grouped by year. If you want to expand those fields, it's just a matter of clicking the expand field button, or going to the individual year and selecting the plus sign next to that. And that will show you any detail within that group. Now, you'll notice some of the numbers uh, for the sum of credit uh, area are actually quite long and also it's turned into scientific notation. So if you want to fix that quickly, we just need to go to the values section in the bottom right hand corner, click on the arrow next to sum of credit, value field settings, number format and we'll just change that to a number style category uh, that will remove any scientific notation and then we'll take that down to zero decimal places just to clean that up a little bit and finally if you want to make that look a little bit more professional or format that a really quick and easy way to do that is to go up to the pivot table tools design tab to expand open the gallery and to choose a style straight from there You'll notice there's plenty of options in line with the theme that you have applied to your Excel spreadsheet. You just need to select one of those and there you have it. For more great Microsoft Dynamics GP tips and tricks, visit www.calzone.com forward slash tips and sign up for the newsletter. For more great Microsoft Excel tips and personalised training via Skype, visit www.savvytrainingaustralia.com. Thank you.